Welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Amber here with a guide for the mastery challenge at Kaliva Outpost, the trial of the bear. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build up an insane amount of adrenaline so you can have extra Russian bash attacks to use against the final two mini bosses. For my other walkthroughs, see my playlist linked on screen and in the description below and subscribe to my channel to get my latest guides and gameplay. So there are three waves of enemies in this trial. In the first wave, there's gonna be six guards, three to Eivor's right and three to the left. I'm gonna start out by grabbing a couple mushrooms to fill up my adrenaline because I'm gonna be going for the Russian bash kills first. I'm going to try to get five Russian bash kills and one stun kill in this wave. And I'm parrying, even though I'm doing the Russian bash, because when I parry and stun the enemy, they're going to drop to one knee. And I find that when they're on one knee, it's a lot easier to hit them with the Russian bash as opposed to when they're moving around and sometimes I miss. So even though I'm going for Russian bash right now, I'm still parrying. So they go to one knee and it's easy to hit them. The other reason I'm parrying is because there's a chance that I'll refill an adrenaline when I parry. So this is a way to also build up my adrenaline. So this is my third Russian bash kill. The reason I'm only doing five Russian bash kills, oh, and I don't have any adrenaline left, so I'm going to do the stun kill here. The reason I'm only doing five Russian bash kills and not six is because I actually only need seven Russian bash kills, and I'm going to save two for the final two mini bosses. So I'm going to do five out of my seven Russian bash kills here, and I'm grabbing more adrenaline. And there is the fourth Russian bash kill. And here is the fifth. So in this wave of six enemies, I got five of the seven Russian bash kills that I need and one of the six stun kills that I need. So that means in the second wave, I only need stun kills. So there's five guards two to the left and three to the right and I need to kill them all with stun kills and the reason I do it this way is because I find these guards with a lot of health are easier to kill with stun kills because if you try to kill these guards that have a lot of health with Russian bash sometimes I find I'll hit them into the wall and they still won't die whereas those guards in the first wave didn't have as much health, so I only needed to hit them once and they would die quickly with Russian Bash. So there's my first stun kill. I'm gonna need four more stun kills to finish this wave. And these enemies can do that move where they throw dirt in Eivor's face. So I'm trying to dodge that. It can be a little difficult to see when they do that smoke bomb too. There's my second stun kill in this wave, my third overall. And you can see I always go to the same spot at the top of the stairs to the left of the throne as Eivor is sitting on it. Reason being, I find these enemies tend to approach me one at a time when I'm on these stairs. If I'm in the middle of this arena, sometimes I can get surrounded by two, three, or even four enemies. 
But if I'm in the corner here, they tend to come at me one at a time, so it's easier to parry. And one more parry and stun. The other reason I want to avoid being surrounded and dealing with multiple attackers at the same time is I'm more likely to get hit and take damage and use health. And there's not that many rations in this trial, so got to be really careful not to take damage. Speaking of damage, you also want to be careful not to hit the enemies into the fire because if they die of fire damage, you won't have an opportunity to get the stun kill or the Russian bash kill. And now there's just one enemy left so I can go directly to them and get my final stun attack kill that I need. One more parry. And I am done with my stun kills. But the thing to note here is I have all four of my adrenaline slots completely filled as I enter the third wave. And the mushrooms are gonna regenerate every wave. And so I'm starting this wave with four adrenaline slots and all the mushrooms. So I have a lot of adrenaline that I can make use of. So my strategy here is to go right after the madman with fire, weaken him with melee, and then use Russian pa Bash. I find that by taking him out first, it's easier to kill the Goliath. And now I need one more Russian Bash kill against either of these two targets. I'm gonna to try to get it on the boar, but it's a little tough because it moves around so much. <laughs> oh, but I got it. I got my final Russian Bash kill on the boar. So now I can kill this Goliath any way I want. My strategy against him is to line up for Russian Bash to close the distance and then alternate between melee and Russian Bash, keeping him off balance so he can't get in an attack because his attacks deal a ton of damage. And he is down. Perfect score of 1,000 and a gold medal. This is Amber. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more guides and gameplay.